folks, Gareth here, and this oh, is the Nexus 6P. Been waiting for this for a wee while. I was a bit annoyed that I didn't get it as soon as it was released. However, uh, a little bit of a wait and it eventually arrived. The box I've seen uh, on a number of different websites. It, it's a gorgeous little box, um, obviously with a P here and some landscape here that looks somewhat green with tranquil waters, a little bit of white water there and 6P written on the side. This is Google's and Huawei's first collaboration and uh, let's get into it and see what it's like. Okay, so we open that like so I guess and then we pull this away and inside here we have Nexus written in the white. Sorry, it's a bit white in here. Um, you can see the Nexus there. And that's about all there is here. I always wish they'd put some kind of secret inside here. And we have a silver cover on here with a little turquoise tab down there. Is that turquoise or blue? It says P and it shows the contents of the box which we'll deal with as we go along. The phone on top. come to it. I'll just leave it there tastily. And we have 90 days of Google Play Music. Offer must be redeemed by the 18th of April 2017. I did see someone asking that question on Reddit some time back. Uh, the SIM card ejector tool. Nice little round one. And in here we have warranty information, yep, safety and warranty. Lovely little book in English. Yeah, somewhat credit card sized. So this is the wall wart, if you like. Doesn't have any Huawei branding on it, I didn't see. Oh yeah, it's on the front there. Okay, and some uh, other daubings there. Uh, there is a something under the plastic which I will attempt to get to. Now we'll just rip it all off. What is it? Oh it's just a it's a thumb <laughs> uh, placement groove. Oh, I was quite excited there. I thought there was something different about this. But there is. Obviously this is USB-C. Uh, not a lot of people are going to be using USB-C at the moment. Uh, the majority will still be on the micro USB and uh, it's a travel power adapter as such. Okay, so we have one longer USB-C cable, tightly packed, and there it is there in all its glory. Um, looks like the front of a P Plymouth GTO, is it? The American supercar? And then on this end, we also have another one. Okay, so this is a longer USB to C to USB C, micro USB C. And then we have USB to USB C. So only one of these, and that doesn't go into that without a fight. So this will go in here, and the charging commences. And then this would be for connecting to your computer or possibly a portable charger. With any luck, running Marshmallow, we won't need that. Okay. So let's just check we got our contents okay. We got uh, we got a phone, yes, with NFC. Uh, we got wall adapter, wire, another shorter wire. Steps on how to do these things. These are always important to follow. Someone somewhere will mess it up and hold the power in for one, two, three. SIM card ejector. Okay, so the device. Oh, that seems to be slidey as opposed to sticky. That's novel. Again, with the turquoisey tab, nicely Nexus written there. We slide it right. This is the first time I've actually touched the Nexus 6P. I've had the Nexus 5X in my hand, but Initially, it's not very heavy. It's not very heavy at all. 
and it feels quite gorgeous. And it's just come in from the cold, so we're getting some fingerprints here. Uh, the, the device does feel rather cold. And on the side here we have a power button and a volume rocker. You can just about make that out. Up the around the top, 3.5mm headphone jack on the top. Then down this side we have a, a SIM card tray here. Get that out of the way. Uh, for SIM card. Nothing else down here. Beautifully smooth line down there. Then we have an antenna just there and around here. Then we have the USB-C on the bottom, antenna, antenna, and back up to the other buttons. Fairly simple. On the back, we have CE code down here, Huawei, Nexus branding, a sticker with IMEI number on it, which I will remove, which I have removed, and then the wonderful fingerprint sensor that everyone is raving about. There's a microphone on the back there. Then this black bar with camera and dual LED flash. So obviously the black bar is cause of controversy. It's not as uh, protruding as some people have made out. It's there. It will help you know which way the device is <laughs> whenever you pick it up. Um, when holding it like this, I guess it might get a bit fingerprinty and you'll probably get fingerprints over the camera. But... Uh, <sighs> Who's worried about that, to be honest? And we of course have these dual stereo speakers on the front. A massive screen. Uh, measured at 5.7 inches. And it's uh, 1440 by uh, 12, 2560 uh, resolution. That's, that's kind of huge. So we're going to turn her on for the first time. Hopefully there's some juice in it. There usually is. I did see a red light up there. Nope, it must be fully out of juice. Okay, so we're all plugged in now after a little bit of movement. Inside the device, obviously, we have a quad core 1.5. 55 gigahertz Cortex A3 processor plus a quad core 2 gigahertz Cortex processor alongside an Adreno 40 or 430, which is a makes it a bit of a powerhouse, really. It's one of the most powerful phones on the market, and that's a bit of a welcome change. Usually, Nexus devices are more kind of mid range, this one is a fully a top-end device that's nice to have. There's three gigabytes of RAM inside this is the 64 gigabyte model it's got a 12 megapixel camera on the back and a 8 megapixel camera on the front it's worth noting that the the back camera certainly does do uh, 1080p but it also does 4k but the front camera does 720p that's something I haven't seen pointed out by too many folks I'll put a SIM card in in a while and we'll connect to my local network. Okay, so the first question we've been asked here is do I want to copy accounts and data from another device? I am going to do that because I will be using this device for the next few weeks as a review. Uh, open Google Settings app, select set up nearby device, touch 6P to list. Oh, that's actually for like Bluetooth copying stuff across. No, I'll just restore it from my Google backup. The device is so big, I'm having trouble keeping it in frame. Okay, so that's my Google information put in. So it'll just download all my stuff automatically in just a sec. I'm not a big fan of this uh, of this design for the opening of the phone, for the the for the setup of the phone, the, the blue, the two-tone two, two blue and the white. I think it, whilst it's very simple, it just seems um, quite old-fashioned. I do apologise if you can hear the dog there. It's probably the mailman. Okay, I'll be setting up Exchange later on. Set 
set up a fingerprint. See how easy this is. Unlock with the fingerprint. Next is imprint uses your fingerprint to wake up and unlock your device. Authorize purchases and sign into apps. Be careful whose fingerprints you add. Fair enough. Choose your backups. We'll go with a wee pattern here. Okay, and we're on to notifications. Show all notification content. That's fine. Locate the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. Okay, so that's my fingerprint. That was relatively harmless. Didn't have to swipe up and down many times, just touch it lightly. Okay, so we're choosing what we're installing. We'll go from my old LG. I'll take off all apps. I'll just install them all myself. Okay, so uh, one of the big features is obviously Google Now and Google Now on tap. Uh, I live in the UK, so that's not a particularly exciting thing. I don't find it to be particularly useful here in the UK. It's a, it's a bit dull. Whilst it's restoring, uh, I figured I'd have a little comparison between this phone and maybe some other devices to, for, so you can get an idea of how big it is or how small it is. Um, this is it uh, against the the G1, which was a, an older Google device released by T-Mobile. As you can see, they've increased the screen considerably uh, and there's not as many buttons down at the bottom here. Uh, the, the, the speaker remains up here as it is up here there, um, and uh, it's, it's a little bit thinner, thinner. And then they progressed a little bit to, uh, to, to this. Uh, and they they didn't really increase the screen too much as much as they have done in this incarnation of the Nexus but uh, yeah it's really come on since since these wee Nexus devices of years gone by if I had a thought further ahead I would have brought over the the other Nexuses but uh, the, the, these two will do there you go, you've got an idea of how big it is okay, oh I should have used uh, Yes, using my fingerprint to uh, using my fingerprint to unlock it. That's kind of handy. Right, so we have Google Now, which zipped over very quickly. Check out better organized cards, weather at home, work, and some news. Neat. Actually, have some cards there that I might actually read from now. Uh, from stock we have some Google Play bits and pieces. There's Google Play Books, Google Play Games, Play Music, Play Movies, Play Store. Which pops up very quickly. Uh, Google Drive and other various Google Apps stocks is to be installed I'm guessing. Using weather, 17 updates available. Wow. Uh, YouTube, Google Plus, Google Maps. That's it. Very simple. Under here, we have the nice line across the top here. Uh, the calculator, calendar, camera. All Google stuff. And nothing else. Oh, how lovely it is to have stock Android. Without all the crap installed. It really is lovely. Obviously, uh, this is Marshmallow now, so there might be a few differences. I've been using Lollipop right up until this. This is uh, my, well, aside from a little bit of a hands-on with a 5X, this is my first experience of uh, Marshmallow right in. Okay, so we have uh, Android 6.0, Model 6P. System updates. Might we be so cheeky? Did check five minutes ago. Okay. Uh, so under settings we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage and more, display 
No, uh, don't seem to be too much new here. Oh, well, I suppose tap and pay would be uh, default or payment default Android Pay, which is installed. That's odd because it isn't really out in the UK. I don't think I've looked for it a couple of times and haven't been able to find it. But it could be it's not compatible with my current device. Uh, use default always, whatever that means. Location, security, accounts, Google, language and input, backup, date, accessibility, printing, and about phone. So the there's not too much of excitement there. Uh, there's a bunch of updates. I can feel the phone getting quite warm actually, uh, installing all of these. Okay, so we're connected to Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth, uh, do not disturb, right there. Not quite as handy as you'd like it, because obviously you have to do a couple of swipes to get it down. One, two, and then change your disturbance level. Uh, no SIM card, airplane mode, auto-rotate, torch, love that, absolutely love that. Uh, location and cast, built right into the top menu there. That's that's good news, so that allows you to obviously cast the screen to a Chromecast. Hang on, I'm going to have a quick go with the camera. The, the camera's not on the home screen, that's a bit odd. Let's go for these two little boyos here. Swipe right to left for video. Okay, that's simple as opposed to actually having to hit a button. And for video, I'll be uploading a bunch of separate videos. Uh, I'll take the camera out in the car and do a wee bit of a testing of each video quality. Which would be nice. Well, what are the other functions in the camera, actually? Because obviously the camera does get an overhaul with most new versions of Android. Go here for the settings. Oop. Photosphere, panorama, lens blur and settings. Let's see what's under the settings. So resolution and quality. We're set up to 12.2 megapixels which we can't go any higher than. But that's in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. 8.3 is the 16 by 9 ratio. Front facing camera is 8 megapixel 4 by 3 or 4.1 at 16 by 9. Back camera Ultra HD or just 1080p. I will leave it on 1080p for the moment. It's odd to see it without any other options other than these three. It's a sign of the times, isn't it? Uh, front facing camera can record in 1080p plus 720p. The spec sheet says 720p for the front facing camera. That must be a misprint then. And then SD as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, panorama resolution. High, normal, low. We'll go with high. Why would you go with anything lower? Uh, save location, show grid for in viewfinder. Burst settings, smart burst. Generate <laughs> auto generate creations. Yeah, it's like on Google Plus. And then help and feedback. We can whip it around this way. Hi. That's the camera and me. Okay, so there isn't really anything else to show other than just the, the basic Google... Oh, something didn't install. Bizarre. Maybe it's because I had the camera open at the time and I wasn't able to do that. Now to play services. So 
So there's no more dragging up from the bottom here. Uh, what I could do is jump into Play Music and let's have a test of these front speakers to see how loud they go. There's the Smiths, it's not a particularly loud song. <laughs> Google's biggest problem. Oh, For someone who reviews phones, I can only remove, what is it, four phones a year and uh, it means I can't use Google Play Music on my new devices. I have to wait a year to add more. So by the time this comes around, this will have expired. Oh, thanks Google, thanks a lot, thanks for nothing there. The one incentive you get. Okay, so here we go Hi with... folks, let's have a look and see what was new on Netflix. From the 26th of October to the 1st of November. There are two new compilations of short films, one about waterfalls and the other taking place underwater. They're 25 minutes apiece and might make you need to go to the toilet. Ardman classic Chicken Run is back on Netflix after a brief hiatus. This one features Mel Gibson. Okay, so th that sounded quite good. That was just obviously talky-talky. Uh, we'll go for a wee bit of music. There's a bit of vibration coming off this, uh, but then you're going to because the speakers are pretty loud. I believe that's the first time, aside from the HTC One M8, that I've had to actually turn the volume down a wee bit whenever the phone's facing you, or without, you know. Um, because it's a wee bit too loud. It, it is. It's a. It's a little bit too loud. Okay. So some of the uh, the other applications have been updated. It says it's charging rapidly. Obviously, over the Nexus 6P uh, cable, the USB C key cable. Uh, it says two hours until full. Well, whenever I got this, it didn't seem to be working. There was 10% uh, battery. Now we're sitting at 17% battery. All right, well, we're going to go and review this and uh, and see what we think. The review will be up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but in the meantime, um, thanks for watching and watch out for the, uh, the video samples of the actual video. Uh, all right, take care now.